Look like this. I Can we start the next presentation? Hi, everybody. Um, Jonathan, Cherry, and I uh, are a French uh, student in the computer science. And, uh, we will present you our. Thank you. Okay, and uh, uh, and we will present you a school project named Blenderid. Uh, the main purpose of uh, our work uh, was using smartphone um, as a talk tools for 3D uh, modeli, and uh, now I will let uh, Jonathan uh, speak about the project overview. So, so our first objective was... Uh, okay. It's okay? Yes. Our first objective was to creating an innovative tools for 3D modeling. Uh, for the simplified process of creation. And, uh, we also wanted to, um, to use different devices connected to the, together to uh, bring new uh, functionalities to uh, computers like uh, smartphones or um, other things uh, like Nip Motion or uh, other things. So. 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 We choose two technologies. For the smartphone, we choose Android, and for the modeling software, we use Blender. Both are open source and uh, easy to develop on. That's the main reason why we choose uh, these technologies. 
And uh, what exactly is Blendroid? Blendroid is, um, is both an uh, application uh, for your smartphone and uh, add-on for Blender. It's, uh, is, um, it's proposed f functionalities of Blender on your smartphone and um, show them in real time on Blender, like uh, creating objects, moving or rotating them, and uh, you can also record animations. Now I let Thierry present you uh, the f different functionalities. So, hi. <laughs> So the first functionality we had to design uh, was uh, a way to see objects um, on your smartphone because you had them on the scene and you wanted to select it, for example, to rotate it or uh, move it or whatever. So, um, well, it's quite easy to start the um, application. You just uh, let laundry add on and start. Under it, you can see the IP you need to, co to configure your uh, smartphone connection. And then you launch the, uh, the app uh, on your smartphone. And you can see real time the object in the scene. And uh, by pressing on that, you can uh, select it. It's um, a selection for each smartphone, actually, because you can connect with multiple smartphones, but uh, each smartphone defines is uh, uh, which objects are selected. You can rename it also um, with, uh, by uh, long clicking on it and uh, you can see it change uh, real time on the theme. Uh, one of the other functionality we wanted to develop is what a smartphone can uh, be used to what is unique to the f smartphone. So we uh, use the uh, gyroscope of the smartphone to move objects. And uh, so we can have uh, the uh, input of uh, uh, the smartphone and uh, play it in Blender. So as you can see, Batman is doing exactly what uh, my smartphone is, uh, is going and it's in real time and we had fun developing that. And it's, it's respond really, really precisely. Um, once we have finished um, developing that, we, uh, we see a potential to uh, actually use the, this uh, rotation to orient uh, the camera and, um, and record uh, more easily uh, movement of uh, of the uh, for a video, for example. So, by just um, rotating the camera, we get the input in Blender, and uh, it's an easy way to move it. And there is even a functionality to set frames uh, automatically, so the the uh, animation is recorded as you move. Um, once we wanted to use every aspect of the cell phone, so as a smartphone, so we uh, implemented a way to use your smartphone like as a gamepad and move uh, objects uh, uh, in Blender. Um, so just by tilting the um, smartphone, you can move forward and uh, turn left and right, rotate it, and it's all uh, real time and. It, actually funny. And uh, if you select uh, world, every movement is compared to the world, but if you say like, local, when you tilt, it goes forward from, from the model. Then Batman is gone. Um, and the um, main function was to be able to draw things uh, on your smartphone and directly edit it and have it on Blender. And uh, so we first created a way with uh, placing, <coughs> sorry, placing vertices. So you'll see um, just by typing on the screen you can draw your form. And, um, <coughs> 
And if you want to uh, correct something, there is a um, back button to erase the last action. And if you want also to delete points, you can go to edit mode and double tap on the screen to suppress points. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And um, uh, you can uh, modify your, your shape as you want. And uh, when you are uh, satisfied with the results, you just click, uh, you uh, set a name, and you click on the Send to Blender button, and you have the uh, UR form in seconds. Actually, it's instant. So from there, you can use Blender and edit your design form. Um, after that, we um, being able to place vertices was cool, but we wanted to be able to draw stuff uh, literally, so we implemented curves. So uh, it's worth the same way, just, just uh, select a curve from the panel and uh, start drawing. And there is a, an option to either have a close curve or not, so you can use a path or something. And it works the same way. You send it to Blender, and you have got your form. Um, we had to think about an algorithm to simplify um, the points, because when you draw uh, a line like that, you got a thousand of, po thousand of points, I think. So we wanted to only keep uh, only those who are really uh, making the uh, curve, and which would be easy to to modify afterward in Blender. And finally, uh, we wanted uh, to be able to work uh, with multiple smartphones at the same time as the same scene, so um, many smartphones can connect and create and move and rotate at the same time, and while even uh, uh, someone is uh, using the blender on the uh, uh, computer. So um, what we wanted to, what we would want to improve with time, would be to extrude directly from the smartphone. Uh, we want to, uh, we would want to um, to um, get all the input from the camera because we have seen that it's really useful to use your smartphone to rotate the camera, but it doesn't. Um, uh, register the record the uh, movement. So when you do that, only rotation is done. But with, if you want to record that, you have to add another data. So that would be interesting to have. And shortcuts to launch uh, to, for example, render directly from your smartphone uh, or, or switch to camera view with a simple button. And the final one would be to have a. Uh, a feedback on your smartphone of your scene because you can't actually at that moment. <coughs> and uh, why not uh, port it uh, from other OS, so iOS or Windows Phone and other software, Maya, 3ds Max, etc. So thank you for attention. Now we'll be proceeding to a demonstration live and afterwards question. No So, launching Blender. Um, sorry. Sorry, I forgot to put my phone on the hotspot. Okay, you have to connect to my smartphone, sorry. So I'll be answering the question while you uh... Any questions? Yes. How does it uh, communicate with Blender? Is it Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cable? Uh, yeah, it's actually, uh, for now it's Wi-Fi. And uh, the uh, computer is a server and every smartphone has this client. Okay, thank you. Um. 
Non, je crois. Hein. Non, je vois pas. Any questions? Any more questions? Okay. T'es bien connecté? T'es bien connecté. For the movement uh, of the of the camera to really to get to to a different position, have you also uh, looked at uh, uh, Bluetooth tags? Uh, about uh, we have looked about what? Sorry, a Bluetooth, Bluetooth tags. No, we didn't right now, but uh, just it's, since it was a school project, we mm -hmm. haven't got uh, time for it. But why not? Add it later, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How is the latency? Is there a problem? Is not with How much? <clears throat> how much latency do you get? Uh, is it a problem? Did you try to work that out? And is there any buffering issue to the whole network protocol? Um, I, I think it's really, uh, really uh, fast because we send a lot of data from uh, rotation, for example. And uh, I think we can have troubles when multiple smartphones are connected to the same computer. But other than that, it's really impressively quick. Yeah, OK, so, right. So um, I'll draw a path. And uh, my friend is going to draw a form, a, a shape. And here, I send it. So, um, it doesn't uh, actually. The uh, person of the computer can still work with the the uh, software while we play with the, our smartphone, and so you can uh, do things that like uh, following the path and. Uh, Playing the animation, I'll even uh, I'll play with uh, the rotation of the path. And I can even uh, record it. Sorry. There and then when the animation restart, it just uh, record what I did with my fast phone, uh, my smartphone moving it, and uh, places keys uh, on Blender. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, I'll be playing with stars. So just select them on my smartphone. Ah, sorry. There is um, some uh, some uh, troubles uh, with uh, when movement I've done are done really. Synchronously, uh, when stuff are done on, uh, is done on the computer and on the smartphone, and sometimes lost connection, like that. <laughs> so I think it's be well. Thank you for your attention, and uh, thank you very much. We have time for a few more questions, if you like. Yes. Uh, is it possible, or will it be possible to animate uh, amateurs? To animate animations? Amateurs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, would be possible. Um, so you could use several smartphones to yeah. <laughs> connect a, a yeah. person with it. And <laughs> yeah, it could be possible. Uh, actually, we didn't think about that, so uh, right now only objects appear on the uh, smartphone, but it would be a matter of uh, seconds to change it to uh, bones and uh, armature, yeah. Uh, so what's the status of the multi-platform side of it? Is it available for other uh, operating systems and the license? I'm sorry, what was the question? Um, is it available for other, anything else than Windows and, or when and if it's possible? Um, well, it's really linked to the app on Android and the software on Blender, but there is nothing particularly to, particular to those um, uh, uh, tools, so yeah, it would be simple to export on some other other software or uh, or OS or. Cool. And so. the license uh, is going to be released, or? Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, it will be uh, free and uh, uh, on GPL. Or? Um, yeah, I, I don't. We, we didn't really think about it, so it would be free and uh, for anyone who wants to have it. On uh, actually, we don't have a website yet, so we will post. Uh, we we post a, a video on YouTube, so it will be there. The link and uh, the address to uh, to download uh, both the app and uh, uh, actually we we will put the app on the Google uh, uh, Play and uh, the add-on will be available soon, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> there is one. Uh, so what happens if uh, two people try to rotate an object at once? Is that a problem? Uh, well, uh, you can even rotate the same object at once. Um, there is um, uh, every information, uh, every um, uh, uh, thread is uh, um, um, merged at once. So I don't really know the result because there will, you will have uh, one um, um, action from one smartphone and the other for another. So you, well, you will have a shaky cube, for example. But it's, it is possible. Um, there is we kind of kind of made only one uh, main thread, which is the one who executes execute the orders, rotate, uh, move, et cetera. So it's, it's possible, yeah. OK, thanks. Awesome project. So. Uh, does it recognize more than one finger? And also, is it possible to change the setup controls? For example, one finger to move, two fingers to rotate? three fingers to scale, something like this. This could be, for example, really useful for a puppeteering, to use it as a puppet tool. Yeah, uh, actually, yes, that's a really good idea. Um, we wanted to have the possibility to uh, move uh, from the smartphone, not using is a gamepad, but really move it like that. And uh, so rotating is kind of something uh, I'm going to make on smartphone like this. So we wanted to do that, but we kind of miss time so we didn't but yeah there is that would be possible it's um, I think it, it, it would be easy to uh, implement yeah somebody okay so thank you very much <laughs>Free, fair day. No, sorry. Blenderoid. Now it's Wojtek Grabczak. Yeah? At four. 
Yes, Anton is at four and Wojtek is right now, in five minutes. Is Wojtek here? Wojtek Grabtak, where is he? <laughs> 